Good morning. Uh, it's about five o'clock here at camp. Last full day at camp. I um, figure I'd do a video, um, tell you guys where I'm at, and uh, give you a little bit of a Bible challenge. Um, head's doing okay. I still have some recovery time, healing to do. Um, they switched my medications around this week. Three of my medicines around, and it seems to be doing a lot better. So. Uh, hopefully that's the right combo for for the old noggin. So um, I'll just tell you real quick what the theme is this year at camp. It's all about catching fire and fanning the flame. Keeping that flame burning is what our theme is in 2016 Crossroads Camp. And you know what I spoke on is, and I'm gonna tell you, and and, and I'll go in detail in some other videos, but. You know, I started thinking, what what is it that relaxes us? Well, faith relaxes us. What is it that in real life, you know, if you can think of material things that relax a lot of people, and that would be SPA, S-P-A. So I did a little acronym using the word SPA because my goal was to teach these young people is how to um, relax mentally and to be energized spiritually. And in order to be energized spiritually and stay energized spiritually, you have to really uh, train yourself to relax mentally and not let the stresses of the world bog you down. So I use SPA, and the first one is studying the Word of God. Um, it all begins with, with studying. You know, I, I tell young people all the time, and I've told congregation before, 10 minutes a day. You know, we give 10 minutes to YouTube, Facebook, uh, um, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, whatever it is, we, we, Netflix, we give 10 minutes, well more than 10 minutes a day to those things, but why can't we give at least 10 minutes a day to opening the Bible up and letting the Holy Spirit teach us? And the reason I say 10 minutes is because, that, you know, if you do it right, your soul's gonna start to hunger and grow and desire more in those 10 minutes. Next thing you know, it will become two hours, so. I'm not worried about that. Um, so the S is study. P is prayer. Um, you know, in order to relax mentally, to be able to energize spiritually, you have to study the Word of God and you have to develop a powerful prayer life. You know, unfortunately, we we have this wonderful tool as Christians that we don't utilize near enough, and that's um, is prayer. I mean, you know, not just praying for others, but praying for yourself. I mean, we get caught up in praying for, oh, so-and-so, will you please pray for me? Yeah, and, and, we, and we pray for all these other people. But sometimes we fail to forget. Um, I mean, we fail to, to pray for ourselves. We forget to pray for ourselves. So SP, and then A is simply apply. Um, you know, again, to relax mentally is my goal, is to get people to relax mentally and uh, so that they can energize spiritually or be spiritually energized and stay that way and keep that fire uh, you know, burning and, and spreading. And uh, that, that comes from relaxing mentally. You know, we get on these, what's called spiritual highs where we catch fire and then it's, we douse it and, and it's out for a month or so. Then we catch fire and then we douse it and then we catch fire and douse it. Our goal is to relax mentally so that you can catch fire and spread in just a steady flame, you know, not this huge inferno, but just a steady flame that spreads like a wildfire does. Um, so S, study, P um, is prayer, and A is apply. You know, it does no good if you don't apply what you study. You know, in James, it tells us to be doers of the word. James 1, 22 through 24 is talking about being doer of the word and not just a hearer of the word. You know, being a hearer of the word only is like a man that, or woman that looks in the mirror and, and, and they see themselves and, and it, it, you, you read it. I want you to read it. You know, sitting here and I always tell you, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read them because I want you to read them. Go and read James chapter 1. It's huge. I mean, it, you know, it talks all about your, your trials and tribulations that you go through. Uh, it talks about the testing of your faith and how it pre uh, builds perseverance and that grows into, turns into maturity. And it talks about being a doer of the word, not just to hear. You need to read it. So everybody that's watching this, 
today's challenge is to read James chapter 1 and 2. Read James 1 and 2. I, I tell you that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you to read both of those. Um, so remember, I want you to relax mentally. That means don't let these things of the world uh, cause so much stress here. And then I want you to to energize spiritually. I want, uh, that's revival. It, it, that's that's what revival is all about, and, and catching fire and fanning that flame and spreading. And uh, that's that's what I want to see. So spa, you know, spa relaxes you mentally so that you can go out and you re-energize. So uh, that's what this is. Study the Word of God, prayer, build a powerful prayer life, and apply what it is you study and talk and communicate with God. So um, I'm up here at camp early in the morning and uh, just having a wonderful time. Um, you know, unfortunately, uh, the noggin has kept me out of work with the change of medicine. Um, but, you know, God had a reason, obviously, because uh, I'm able to wake up to a morning where I'm looking at, at this. Is that not beautiful? Just a calm lake out there and, and uh, nobody else is awake. And I think I think the young ones are fixing to get up. We're gonna have a fishing tournament and uh, this old man's gonna have to show them how it's done. So, love you guys, hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll do three separate videos coming up soon. I'll do one on, on doing more in depth on studying the Word of God and show you and tell you how I study personally. Um, I'll do one on prayer and uh, kind of how to pray, and then I'll do one a lot deeper on on applying and actually um, walking in the spirit and, and walking in the light and putting uh, feet to faith, as they say. So, love you guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later.